This is very interesting. You're coming along to the Bellator reality show and Spike TV and really uh, giving people a chance to really see the coaching style. We don't always get to see. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. The challenges of how this reality show is going to affect what I do and how I can overcome those challenges. It's a really interesting thing to do. And a lot of reason why I signed up. And you really don't see this as a you're a coach. You don't see this as a UFC versus Bellator thing. You're there to coach fighters. It's what you do. Yeah, all that UFC versus Bellator stuff is above my pay grade, as they say. You know, what I do is I show up and I try to help develop these people with their dreams. And, uh, um, you know, I, I work for the fighters, and that's who I work for. So uh, I don't see any conflict or anything like that. I'm just kind of a coach. The superstars uh, have their own thing. Can I ask a little bit about the, the coaching at Jackson Winkle Johns? Are you pretty much the ground guy and Winkle Johns is pretty much the striking guy? You kind of no. mix the game plans? Or? No, well, part of that's true, but um, uh, I'm more of a generalist, like a house of striking house. And Wink's actually good on the ground and stuff as well. Um, but my job is to oversee all of it. Um, so I have to do uh, We have great wrestling specialists that I work with, great jiu jitsu specialists that I work with, striking specialists. So my job is to put it all together. So uh, I, I'm what they call the generalist. So like, uh, Mr. Winkle John, he is my mentor, he's my big brother, I love him, and he's also more, more skilled on the ground than you might think. Um, he and I have a great, I mean, over the last however many years it's been, it's been a long time, have, have developed, you can almost uh, think on the same terms all the time, like we know what the other person's thinking a lot, and so yeah, we do a lot of that game planning stuff that the fighter has input, and uh, the other coaches as well. My job is to do a lot of that. Let me ask a couple of technical questions, if you don't mind, because I've always wanted to sit you down. Um, what do you think uh, the people that don't like the linear kicks, you guys are new camp users, a lot of the side kicks that you hear, like a couple straight forces go to your guys, basically one by drop and the with the side kicks and uh, What do you feel about that technique and, and uh, you know, people that say that's cheap? Well, here's the thing is, you give us the rules and, and we'll fight within those rules. So if they don't like it, take it away. But as far as cheap or not cheap, if you don't like it, you take it out of the rules. But within the rules, we will do what we need to do to give our guys the best advantage. And that means every style, every technique, everything that is on the table, we're going to use. We're not going to come into a fight and go, well, we lost it, but at least we weren't sure. Um, I don't No, no, of course not. Of course not. And, and so I think that you're always going to have people that, uh, that get upset about this, that, and the other thing. But if you don't like it, learn to defend it. It's not that hard. Yeah, it's not that hard to lift your knee and point exactly. it and defend it. Yeah, yeah, even. Exactly. No one's no one's doing it. And it's especially against like John Jones with his reach. It's incredibly hard. But, you know, to me, if I'm if you throw ball for its camp and I know you're fighting a guy who's gonna use that technique in all his fights, uses it a lot, you sh it's up to them to defend it. Right, exactly. And so you know part of that is people you know, get upset because they they are familiar with it. They don't know. I mean, oh it's a sidekick to the knee, what does that even do? And, and I think the more you become familiar with techniques the more powerful they are. And so much used all the time, but it hasn't gotten these horrible injuries everywhere. Right, so, and uh, really, and there isn't those horrible injuries even when we're doing it to the guys. So yeah, that, a lot of that. Okay. An another thing, I saw you um, teaching ground in a very interesting way, I think, in, uh, in Singapore. You guys are teaching to hit deep pound with a like, fist down as opposed right. to up. Right. Well, a lot of that ground and pound actually, really ground and pound, like when, when my guys do it well and they're able to, you know, break orbitals or do whatever they do. Um, it, it's a structural thing. Like, ground and pound is its own separate part, just like jiu-jitsu, just like wrestling. Just like understanding the hows, where's, and why's to do ground and pound is very important. I'm not a big guy that just like these really small functions. I mean, it should be coming from your core. It should be, um, you know, motions involved and maximizing the use. So understanding that if I'm, a, if I'm into physics, I want a lot of force in a little area. By turning this over and making this, these two strong knuckles, this little area, Area, the, the primary point of impact that increases my power, which increases my chance of, of finishing the fight. And structurally, it's linear now, right, as opposed exactly. to the big bend in the wrist. And got it. Now you see. Okay, very good. I love, I love this stuff. And. Um, how much back and forth, and, and what was that decision to do this show? Are you going to be able to leave to the other fighters? Was that something you had to stipulate? Like, at least the main guys in the UFC are going to Right. I, I did have to I did make sure that, you know, that I was there for any of the guys that already had a fight schedule and stuff to make sure that, uh, um, you know, I give them attention to. I have to balance out both of these things for the, for the duration of the show. Do you know how long you're going to be in the museum for? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say, so I'll just leave it off the off the record. But uh, uh, just making sure that I had everything in balance, so that I could take care of everybody. And remember that I've got an incredible coaching staff in um, from Mr. Michael John, my partner, all the way down, all the coaches that help me out. And, 
What do you think's next for Julie Kesey? I love the girl. I love talking to her. That's our girl. Um, she is hopefully looking to fight in June. As to opponents and stuff, I'm not sure. But uh, we're looking to at... UFC. What? I'm not sure that either. Okay. But I, um, wherever it is, she'll be healed up um, and, and ready to go. She gave such a great performance in her last fight against such a top uh, tier girl that uh, we're really looking forward to great things. Thank you. 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 Thank you